konnichiwa, hola, ni hao, and hello to each and every one of you joining us today. Welcome to Google Marketing Live. I wish I was joining you in person this year, but unfortunately I have been exposed to COVID, so out of an abundance of caution, I'm joining you from a safe place. So instead, let me welcome you virtually to our beautiful new home and what a home it is. Bayview is an all-electric, net water-positive campus with the largest geothermal installation in North America. It has first-of-its-kind dragon-scale solar skin and nearby wind farms that power it on carbon-free energy 90% of the time. Our goal is for Bayview to provide inspiration and learnings others will use to build more sustainable places that benefit people and the planet. And by the way, it looks pretty amazing too, doesn't it? Anyhow. I am delighted you're with us for the first GML we're hosting in person all over the world, in California, Zurich, India, Indonesia, Singapore, and Thailand, as well as virtually with thousands of partners across the globe. This is what we call a truly global hybrid experience, which I tried to reflect in my lows, but please forgive me for any mispronunciations. I also want to highlight how important it is for us at Google, our product engineering leaders, UX designers, and client-facing teams to meet with all of you and to hear your insights in person for the first time in three long, sometimes endless years. <laughs> for all of us to come together with so many more on live stream, it's a big event for us. It's a little like the Oscars, but everyone, please stay in your seats. But more seriously, a return to in-person events says a lot about how far we've all come, and it's one good reason for all of us to be optimistic. It's far from the only reason. Yes, there are real concerns about the overall macroeconomic environment, supply chain issues, inflation, and the heartbreaking, heartbreaking situation in Ukraine. But zooming out and taking the longer term view, I've heard real optimism in my conversations with business leaders from around the world. I've heard a widely shared confidence that when we look back on this era, one thing it will be remembered for is how step changes in everything remote and the acceleration of digital transformation led to so many lasting innovations in business and technology. Let me share some of the trends we are seeing. Some are obvious, like new ways of working, learning, entertainment, and online shopping, sparked by the sudden shift to remote at the beginning of the pandemic. And then there are some connected but less obvious trends. Things like, number one, the enduring research reflex, which is driving today's empowered consumers to look for more and more in-depth information, all the time, everywhere, even in offline environments. And then the freedom people have today to shop seamlessly across multiple channels, whenever is convenient, whether they're online or off, in-store or curbside, and with easier returns if things aren't right. This has made what we call omnibuyers of all of us. But make no mistake, something more is going on under the hood here. Because these new and now permanent consumer behaviors are also creating new needs, needs that we believe only tech innovations can meet. Just think about some of the evolutions we have introduced at I.O. this year. A few years ago, computers couldn't tell the difference between a dog and a cow. Soon you'll be able to instantly glean insights about multiple things around you by exploring the scene using your camera. And think about how exciting it will be to scan products on a store shelf just like this and see an overlay of helpful insights right in front of you. Only a few years ago, looking up the physical location online would get you an address on a grid map, and if you were lucky, maybe a blurry storefront picture. Today, we have incredible experiences like our immersive view in Google Maps. It uses neural rendering to fuse billions of images and create entirely new representations of actual places to let you explore your favorite landmark, neighborhood, or your favorite restaurant like never before. A few years ago, it was okay for someone to send you a 25-page document. You actually had to read it to understand it. But with automated summarization, our machine learning models can now instantly summarize the main points from a long document I know we all have a colleague or two who make us thankful that we're soon bringing this feature to Google Chat. And by the way, if you don't know who that colleague is, it might be you. But seriously though, this is groundbreaking. And let me be clear, it's not about virtual worlds. It's about making the real world better today. 
by bringing in the best of what the digital world has to offer to the real world. It's about enhancing our reality to address actual needs via cutting edge technology that makes our services multi-sensory and multimodal. And the machine learning and automation tools that make it possible is the same technology that let us do what we've always done. Put our coolest innovations in your hands. Power the next generation of Google Ad experiences and help you connect with consumers and grow your business. And that's why today we can already predict changes in category demand, market competition, and performance shifts for you better than ever before. It's why video is more accessible to advertisers and why automation can give you deeper insights and more transparency. And it's why we can offer you powerful, practical tools to transform your business. Take Etsy, which like many businesses are already using Google's new insights page to drive growth. They saw an increase in searches for sweatshirts and hoodies on the insights page and use that information to help inform their website merchandising and content strategy. This contributed to a 49% lift in sales. And that's just one example of a company leaning into innovation and automation as the pragmatic response to ever-changing consumer behavior. And with a pace of behavior change today, it doesn't take long for that kind of innovation to completely transform a business, including yours. So whether you're here with us in person or joining virtually, and no matter where you are in the world, we have more amazing stories to share. And this is what Google Marketing Live is all about. The condensed learnings and insights behind innovations that create results, build resilience, and get your business ready for the future. And that's why we have 29 expert speakers and 14 different case studies about driving business results. 20 speakers and 11 customer stories about brands being resilient through challenges and 35 speakers and 27 different examples of reinvention. But having said all of this, the most important thing we can do with the time we have is to get your open feedback. Nothing, nothing is more important for us than deeply listening to you. It's amazing of how many of the features and advances you'll hear about are things you have said you needed in years past. So please keep the feedback flowing. And with that, Please enjoy our packed agenda, but first, over to Jerry, who will share more of the exciting things we have prepared for you. Please welcome Jerry Dishler. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to everyone around the world joining us for Google Marketing Live. Three years we've been physically apart. I'm thrilled to be hosting so many of you all at our Mountain View campus, our brand new campus here in uh, Mountain View, California. This new space that we're broadcasting from today is where some of our ads design, engineering, and product management team are starting to work day to day. Like our other offices around the world, this space is designed to inspire the teams building our ad products. Welcome everyone to our home. The lobbies here are going to showcase customer stories. They're not quite ready yet, but they'll be there. <laughs> I'm hoping to see dozens of them every day just walking around the office and uh, uh, going into conference rooms. One of the stories that we have is from Sirebox in Indonesia. Sirebox is an online grocery platform that helps local farmers sell produce directly to their customers. Through Google Ads, they've dramatically expanded their business, while at the same time helping local farmers grow their businesses. We want to help every customer of ours achieve growth like this so that they can also leave a lasting impact on their communities. We host Google Marketing Live to unveil new technology and to share insights with leaders like all of you. We also look forward to this time of year to connect directly with you so that you can offer feedback to our product teams. These conversations are how we build the future of marketing together. One that's safer for people and works for all businesses like all of yours. Moments like today help us further our mission to connect businesses with users, all while preserving an open internet. Thanks to the ad-supported internet, 
People can read news about their hometown that's 4,000 miles away or teach themselves the marimba, all free of charge. The sum total of human knowledge is available in every language on a wide variety of devices. But people are demanding a new relationship with the digital economy. And we can preserve openness while also giving them confidence that their privacy is protected. That's why we continue to build helpful ad products that respect people's privacy and put them in control of what they see. It's up to all of us to evolve how advertising works on the internet, because only together can we protect people's safety, give advertisers new ways to grow their businesses, and reward publishers and creators leading to a healthy and thriving internet. Today, I wanted to share with you a bit about how we think about the future so that we can all best partner with all of you in building it. Let me break it down into three categories. First, how to reimagine what's possible. Second, how to drive results today. And third, how to better prepare for the future. Let's start with reimagine. So at Google, we work hard to understand the trillions of questions that people ask us every year to deliver the most helpful information possible. But the way people search for information shouldn't be constrained by what they type into a search box. In their everyday lives, people get information in a variety of ways, like talking to each other or observing the world around them. And while it's a huge challenge for computers to understand the world the way we do, advances in technology are helping us bridge the gap, and we're beginning to see these advances in search. With AI technologies like natural language understanding and computer vision, we're transforming search to be far more natural and helpful than ever before. Imagine a future where you can search any way and anywhere and find information about what you see, hear, and experience in whatever way is most intuitive to you. This is Google's vision for the future of search. It has the potential to really change the way that people search and engage with information. From typing keywords to asking a question with your voice to searching the world with your camera, we've continued to innovate to help people express themselves in ways that are more natural than ever before. And earlier this month, we launched multi-search, which is one of our most significant updates to search in several years. Now, if you're in the Google app, you can search by taking a photo and asking a question at the same time. So for example, let's say you're in an auto parts store. You can snap a photo of a part and see if it'll fit your make and model. You can even add the word tutorial and you'll be on the way to installing it by yourself. Another way that we're making search more natural is by helping you explore information more intuitively, no matter where you are in your journey. The way people seek out information isn't linear. So a single curiosity may have an endless number of paths to take, with every answer leading to a new question. For example, here in North America, we had a lunar eclipse earlier this month, and that got many folks interested in the solar system. But where do you even start in exploring a topic as big as the solar system? That's why we're reimagining search to help you explore information in a more visual and browsable way. 10 blue links may have made sense in the earlier days of the web, but today information is exploding and there's more choice than ever before. So we want to help you navigate all the rich and diverse information out there and go deeper in the topics you're interested in. For those moments when you're looking to explore a topic or find inspiration, we're transforming the search results page into an endless stream of visual ideas. So you can browse images, articles, and videos to help satisfy your curiosity online. In this case, you can jump into the vastness of the solar system and all its planets right from Google. As you explore the solar system, you'll be able to zoom in on topics that spark your interest, like what planets are terrestrial. You can also zoom out to explore related topics like how to decorate your kid's bedroom with a space theme. And there are so many moments where brands like yours can provide helpful information that people need along the way. It's not just about being able to show up for specific keywords, but having the rich and visual content that matches what the person is looking for, no matter how they express their needs. 
Even in moments when people are just browsing, Google can help them discover new ideas, including from the brands like yours that people care about. That's where all of you come in. With a more visual experience, we'll absolutely have more visual ads to make them more useful, inspirational, and engaging than ever. Today, I'm gonna to share a glimpse of what the next generation of Google ad experiences will look like. In search, you become experts in text ads. Now you'll be able to leverage your visual assets for new opportunities. It's a really, really big deal. In our new experience, we'll have immersive and visual ads, clearly labeled as always, interspersed with the organic results when people are scrolling through ideas. When your ads are relevant, they'll see your beautiful photography and helpful product descriptions. These are just a few ways that we're reimagining search to make it more natural and helpful, whether you're looking to explore a topic or find visual inspiration online. So that's how we're beginning to think about the future of search. I next want to turn to online video. The video landscape has gone through a complete transformation. Online video watch time has gone up by 34% per day during the last two years as cord cutting becomes more prevalent. And short form video is also exploding in popularity. YouTube Shorts is averaging over 30 billion daily views, up 4x from just a year ago. Finally, people are increasingly watching YouTube and other video on connected TVs. Given these changes, if you want to be where your audience is, online video is a must buy. We're developing a full range of solutions so you can go all in on video at all stages of a user's journey and on every device. To start, we've been experimenting with ads in YouTube Shorts since last year, and we're pleased to announce that we're gradually rolling them out to all advertisers around the world. Starting today, we're including Shorts as part of our existing video action and app campaigns, and we'll enable you to run on Shorts automatically. As we continue to launch new formats, it's one of my top priorities to make it easy for all of you to access them. Next up is discovery. In particular, in moments of discovery, a video can convey so much. That's why starting this year, we're testing video ads in the feed on discovery as an engaging and interactive experience for our users. Now people will be able to engage with your brand in a more natural and visual and interactive way as they scroll through content looking for ideas and inspiration. Video is not just delivering compelling ads, you also told us that you're ready for a reinvention of how you reach people as they watch video on connected TV. That's why we're introducing Google audiences in connected TV for display and video 360. And the best part, this will work across Hulu, Peacock, YouTube, and other ad-supported connected TV apps. In a few months' time, you'll be able to power your connected TV campaigns with affinity in-market and demo audiences with the same relevance you've been using on your digital ads for years. Moving forward, we'll keep bringing you a winning combination of the best streaming content and the best streaming ad technology. Video ads are on the TVs in your living room, they're gradually rolling out on shorts, and they'll soon be on Discover. Of course, no matter what an ad looks like in the future, you're going to need them to deliver results. That means campaigns that meet your objectives simply. Sometimes I reflect on how far we've come from the old days of thousands or millions of keywords and crazy bid matrices. We've worked a lot to automate campaigns so that Google speaks your language rather than you having to learn ours. This commitment to automation is working, especially when we center the automation around your goals. Our clearest example of this is Performance Max campaigns, which have really exceeded all of our expectations. Now, I've shared updates on Performance Max the past two years, and I'm doing it again today because AI-driven advertising is our future. Advertisers that use Performance Max in their account on average see 13% more total incremental conversions which, especially in today's business environment, is pretty compelling. While the results are great, many of you have told us that you want deeper insights and more transparency. You want to have more trust in what automation is doing. And I'm happy to say that we're listening, and so we're going to give it to you. Today, we're announcing new ways to understand how automation drives results for all of you. 
To start with, we're introducing experiment tools for performance max, which means you'll be able to run A-B tests to measure the incremental uplift that each campaign is driving. Additionally, we're adding new insights and explanations to your campaigns so that you can understand what's working and why. Next, to make it easy for your campaigns to reach their full potential, Performance Max will be included in Optimization Score. And finally, because you need flexible ways to manage your Performance Max campaigns, we now support them in Search Ads 360 and in the Google Ads mobile app. It's our responsibility to deliver automation that you can trust. And we take that responsibility super seriously. These updates make it even easier to understand, optimize, and measure the results that you're driving with Google Ads. OK, we discussed reimagining with search and online video. We talked about results with automation. Now I'd like to discuss how we build the future by building resilience for tomorrow. Measurement must change in a privacy-safe future. That's a good thing, even if it's a bit challenging as we figure it out together. Some of the tools that we used in the past to measure online performance simply won't work anymore. By 2023, 65% of the world's population will be covered under modern privacy laws in the same vein as GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation. That's up from 10% in 2020. Because people care about privacy, we as an industry need to rewrite digital advertising for the next chapter. Our goal is to build tools you can trust so that you can be confident that you're properly valuing your ad spend in the new normal. That's why you need to have a full suite of privacy-safe measurement options to be resilient as things change in the future. Specifically, this year, we're going to give you the ability to run search and conversion lift tests, including geo experiments, directly in Google Ads and in Display and Video 360. These enable more advertisers than ever before to see the incremental lift in performance against key goals as the result of their campaigns. For example, with our new geo experiments functionality, you'll be able to compare regions where your ads are shown versus regions where they aren't. We're now making it easier than ever to run geo experiments, along with conversion lift and search lift tests in a secure and safe way. Let me bring this to a close. It's an important moment in time for our industry, with multiple seismic shifts happening all at once. Meeting with so many of you from around the world, I hear exactly what you're up against. Privacy is becoming more and more important. People are changing how they engage with content, doing old things in new ways, and new things altogether. Marketing is expanding onto more channels, making measurement more challenging, and also demanding that cross-team silos be broken down. Each of these trends is accelerating, which heightens the urgency for us, everybody in our industry, to act quickly. It will take all of us partnering and changing together. Today, I was able to share with you a little bit of what that partnership looks like. We're reimagining what's possible in search and online video. We're delivering results with performance-driven advertising. And we're building resilience with privacy-safe measurement tools. Throughout all of Google Marketing Live, you'll see the many ways we're working to help you address your greatest marketing challenges today so that you can be ready for whatever comes next. It's an extraordinary time to be in this industry, and my team and I are humbled to be on this journey with you. It's a big moment for all of us. I know that we can meet that moment by working together. Thank you for joining us at Google Marketing Live. A fresh coat of paint can really transform a room. When you walk in, it just feels so good and brand new. Benjamin Moore is a paint and architectural coatings company founded in 1883. Benjamin Moore is sold in locally owned and operated retailers, both in the US, Canada, and over 75 countries worldwide. The 3500 Colors of New England campaign was born out of a desire to help our retailers compete at scale with large national retailers and do it in a way that's personalized to the communities that they're a part of. 
We targeted each zip code and we were able to create over 260 personalized campaigns across YouTube and YouTube TV. This campaign gave them all precise creative for their region and their store while also pulling it all together at scale. And we were really surprised to see how well that drove in-store visits through some of the measurement techniques we were able to use and leverage with Google. We saw a 10% lift in in-store sales during the time period of this campaign across the seven states where it ran. We want our customers to be inspired by the regions and communities they live in. So we love how we are able to see that full customer journey through Google products. Please welcome Vidya Srinivasan. Hello, everybody. It's just wonderful to be here today and see so many of you live. I can tell you the tapings were not quite as much fun, but thanks for being here today. Um, so at Google, we talk a lot about automation and machine learning. It's really how Google Photos can create an album of just the best pictures of your dog. And it's how Google Health uses photos uh, of people's eyes to make it easier to diagnose diseases like cardiovascular disease and diabetes. It's actually, one, Ads was actually one of the first teams at Google to implement machine learning into our products. And we remain the largest use case here. Machine learning is just central to everything that we do. But really, what does that mean for you? So let me give you an example. Let's say you have this song stuck in your head, but just can't remember what it's called. Now, if you open your Google app, you can hum or just whistle the tune, and search will be able to find it for you. Um, I tried this out recently with my girls. Let's check it out. It's a great way to kill time on the weekend. <laughs> now, a lot had to happen behind the scenes for those results to show up. Uh, but what's important for you is not all this complex technical stuff that happens behind the scenes. The point is, as a result of this automation, you can rediscover the song that's just been bouncing around in your head. And that is just magical. And that's exactly how we harness the power of machine learning and automation through Google Ads. We start with what you care about, your objectives, your goals, and your products. And then we seamlessly deliver relevant, high-quality ads for your customers. And then we have to do this at the right moment with the information that they need and in a format that appeals to them. That's a lot to get right. And it's not just about in the moment either. Users' needs evolve, and we have to keep up with them as, as, as that happens. And that is yet harder to do. Now, the good news is there's been a step function change in the ability for machines to understand language. Jerry talked about this just a few minutes ago. Now, over the course of the last five years, we've seen the state-of-the-art language understanding models increase over 5,000 times in size. As a result, these models are now 50% better at understanding human language than before. We use all of those developments to improve your advertising. Broadmatch, in particular, has benefited from these breakthrough advancements, making it even better at matching keywords to user intent. But it's not just Broadmatch. We have a lot that we drive value even through smart bidding. If you look under the hood, what you see is that we've increased our machine learning processing speed by over 10 times over the last year. And we did this by migrating to Google's cutting-edge tensor processing unit hardware and then developing a whole bunch of innovations in machine learning orchestration. This has just opened the door for larger, much more powerful deep learning models. And these models are more powerful because they just train a lot faster. But this is what's important. For customers optimizing towards a target ROAS, this has led to an average of 6% more conversion value. That means every click that we're driving for you now is even more valuable than it was before. Now, that's all great, but you guys have also told us, hey, we want to test this for ourselves and make sure it works for your campaigns. We've heard you. 
And this is why we've now introduced a simplified one-click experiment to prove whether or not broad match when paired with smart bidding can work for you. Now, our data shows us that advertisers that upgrade their exact match keyword to broad match in campaigns that use a target ROAS see an average 20% more conversion value. Now, that is phenomenal. So we are leveraging all of this automation, even for creatives. We want to make them more appealing and more relevant to everything that you deliver. Later this year, we are enabling responsive search ads to use text content directly from your landing pages in your account. We'll, we'll just pull from all your existing high quality assets to address a customer's unique search. If you opt in, our automated technology crawls your site, finds just the right content that can be effective for your ads, and we could also show a relevant headline from an ad in a different ad group. And we know brand matters to you. So you will be able to review all of these automatically created assets in the asset and combination reports and see for yourself how they perform. Now let's shift gears a bit. Uh, let's think about how somebody may want to engage with your business. Oftentimes, this means visiting your website or app to learn more. Other times, someone might want to have a question answered very quickly, so quickly that they don't even want to leave the Google search results page. Today, you can use Google business messages and customers can message a business directly through Google search, Google maps, or even the business's website or app and get timely support. And soon, your customers will be able to make far more uh, informed purchasing decisions by messaging businesses directly from search ads. This is a feature that is now in testing and we plan to have an open beta by end of the year. But let me give you an example of a real customer using it. So HDFC, India's largest private sector bank, has been testing this in their home loan ads. The results have just been striking. They were able to connect with prospective customers as soon as they searched for things like home loans. In every month that they tested, they've answered over 40,000 questions and driven over 1,300 new leads. Now, of course, you want to connect with your customers in many formats, not just search ads. Maybe you want to use formats like video and display. Last year alone, advertisers used tens of millions of assets in their campaign. Now, to help you store, source, and organize all of these creative assets, we are making the asset library in Google Ads available to all advertisers. It's a one-stop shop that enables you and your team to import, collaborate on, and just organize all your image and video content. And once the content is imported, it, it can be accessed wherever you're building your ad, be it discovery, app, display, or performance max campaigns. Furthermore, you can also integrate your asset library with Google Drive just to make all of this easily accessible. And you'll be able to see these access level insights to help you understand how your business has responded to your message. But it's not just about managing existing assets either. Soon, we'll be able to create an effective video and publish it to YouTube in as little as 60 seconds directly in the library. 60 seconds. I can't even pop a bag of popcorn in 60 seconds. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So on top of that, you will only need as few as five of your image, logo, and text assets to make an effective ad. Now, you know better than I that good marketing is all about establishing a real connection with your users. And if you understand what somebody wants, you can connect with them wherever they are. Now, the most powerful tool possibly for understanding your customers' needs, Google Analytics, has been around a while, almost two decades now. Now, our goal with Google Analytics 4 is to help you understand your customers' behavior in this complex marketing landscape, and it, it's getting more complex. So one of the ways we're doing this is by using the new intelligent home experience. If you're using Google Analytics 4, this is something that you can access right now. Using machine learning, Google Analytics 4 automatically uncovers insights that you can use to better understand your customers, and it's just there, ready for you. This means you can reach people with more relevant messages based on where they are in their journey. Are there prospects? Maybe they're returning customers. It will even show you predictions about future customer behavior and what their value will be 
to your business over time. Now, this has been so powerful and so popular with our customers that we've adopted a similar approach with Google Ads, where we, where we deliver real-time trends about customer behavior on the Insights page. Now, this page is tailored to your business, and it just covers a gamut of use cases. For example, you can see what's working across Google ad channels by viewing the new attributions in sight. And you can quickly see campaigns that are helping customers along the entire journey. With that understanding, you can now view budgets. And with the budget insights, you can basically see which campaigns are keeping pace and which are not. Maybe you want to move your budget to those that are driving better results. And this extends even beyond Google Ads. By using the audience insights, which will soon support first-party data, you can learn more about your customer list. Perhaps this high-value audience list that you have needs to be refreshed. Maybe it's not actually driving the conversion value that you expected. And so far, we've been viewing all of these insights at the single account level. But you've been asking us for a more holistic view across your accounts. Maybe you've set up different accounts for different countries. So to address this, we are rolling out these insights at the manager account level, too. As you can see, we've just done a ton of work here so that you get a better understanding of what's happening across your accounts as well as broader user trends. But knowing isn't enough. You also want to act on these insights quickly and actually drive value for your business. And this is where the recommendation and the optimization score comes in. And here's why the optimization score really matters. Advertisers who increase their account level optimization score by 10 points saw a median 14% increase in conversions. Optimization score really helps you prioritize the most meaningful changes to make. And in a few months, the score will cover every campaign type in Google Ads. You will now be able to review recommendations, apply what makes sense, and seize every chance to improve performance for whatever campaigns you are running with Google Ads. So, I know I've covered a lot today, but I want to leave you with this. AI-driven automation is the future of advertising. I'm super proud of what we've been able to achieve in the last year, and we believe that harnessing this power of automation is critical as you build your businesses for the future. And there's one thing we all know about the future. Well, users are demanding more and more privacy. Our approach to privacy and measurement enables you to be both prepared and resilient for this future, and I'm very excited to welcome my colleague, Saurabh, who can tell you all about it. Hello, and welcome. It's great to be here today to share Google's plans for privacy and measurement. As you heard from Jerry earlier, getting privacy right is a key priority for us. It's possible to model buying journeys with precision, even as there's less data available, like when users opt against sharing their data. We want an approach that works for users and advertisers alike. Advertising needs to preserve safety for users, full stop. And advertising needs to grow stronger businesses. We want to enable you to grow your business while guarding user privacy. And I'm here to talk about how we can work together to do more with the consented data you have. At Google, we can get privacy right by sticking to a handful of straightforward principles for our users. We never sell your personal information. We never use sensitive information to personalize ads. We never use the content you create to personalize ads. And we work on your behalf to protect your privacy. People trust us with their data, and we need to reward that trust. We need users to know all the ways they can control the ads they see online. And users should have confidence that they control their data and know that their data is used to show them ads. So to give users more control of their ads, we're launching My Ad Center later this year. Through My Ad Center, users will be able to control how their data informs the ads they see on YouTube, search, and discover. People can choose to see more ads from the categories or brands they like. They can also opt to see fewer ads from categories or brands they're not interested in. It's a straightforward mission control experience for someone's experience with ads on Google. Now, we've spoken with thousands of people about their expectations for privacy while browsing online, and we hope that My Ad Center will bring users more confidence and trust in advertising. And in turn, you can be confident that you're talking to a relevant, engaged audience. 
So now let's talk about what we're doing to help businesses. We're partnering with you to find new ways to reach consumers that align with privacy-safe advertising principles. And you can see one example of this via our work in the privacy sandbox from Chrome and Android. Later this year, we'll expand our testing of interest-based advertising and remarketing campaigns in Google Ads and Display and Video 360 to incorporate these signals from the privacy sandbox APIs. On Google Ads specifically, you can grow your business by combining your first party data with automation in a privacy safe way. New customer acquisition through customer match is one way to grow your business. And we've already enabled this for Performance Max, and we'll be bringing it to other campaigns later this year. In short, we're developing new technology that works for Google inventory and publisher partners so that advertisers can deliver relevant ads and respect user privacy across the full ad ecosystem. In addition to cutting edge technology, we're also working on reinvigorating tools that have been used for years, like marketing mix modeling. These models are inherently privacy safe because they work in aggregate. They also work across media and platforms, including Google channels like YouTube and connected TV. And to give better insight into what's working, we're improving our MMM data platform. These improvements will allow us to provide data inputs more quickly so that anyone using MMM reports can know the impact of their media sooner. Now, the right kind of measurement can create a virtuous cycle. Information about what you're doing leads to educated predictions about what else is happening. And you need accurate and trustworthy modeling to go from the data you have to the insights you need. Conversion modeling is particularly important. And although modeling isn't a new practice, in 2022, it'll be even more essential for durable measurement. That's why we've invested in a robust set of updates across coverage, accuracy, and consistency. So we've widened our browser coverage and are expanding to new model types to give you a fuller view of the customer journey. We've deepened our investments into model quality and accuracy to help you uncover a higher percentage of conversions that would otherwise go unseen. And we've brought the same level of sophistication to both Google Ads and Analytics to provide more consistency across platforms. With these improvements automatically integrated, your reporting will have the most complete and accurate measurement available. Another way we're using insights from modeling is data-driven attribution. It provides the most accurate representation of the customer journey by giving credit for conversions based on how people engage with your ads and decide to become your customers. Because we know how effective it is, we want to make it as easy to use as possible. So earlier this year, we made data-driven attribution available regardless of conversion volume. We've also made data-driven attribution the default attribution model for most new conversion actions, meaning it's simpler to use than ever before. We're working hard behind the scenes to make a resilient future as simple as possible for your business and your customers. However, in some cases, we need your help. And when we ask you to do something, we'll try to make it as straightforward as possible to implement. So one example I'm particularly proud of is our recent launch on on-device conversion measurement through the newest version of our mobile SDK. Your customer's data is protected by a matching process that does not divulge any information uh, of their identifying information to third parties, neither the publisher of an app nor the advertiser. No external servers, including Google's, receives, hosts, or processes identifying information. And all that info will never leave the device. It's privacy safe for users, it's durable, and it works. We're also work to simplify the tagging experience. Proper tagging is critical to a privacy safe future and enables you to accurately measure conversions while respecting user choices through products like consent mode. Our goal is to deliver simple tagging for all of your ads and analytics accounts so you may have a better way to uphold privacy while driving business results. We're introducing the Google tag in the coming weeks. It'll replace the global site tag and allow you to combine your tags and manage your settings centrally without additional code. Now, if you've ever had to edit code just to update or troubleshoot a site's tag, you might be opening a very small bottle of bubbly right about now. It's truly simple to add a tag that provides you with the insights you need to know what's working. Another way to improve your conversion measurement in a privacy safe way is enhanced conversions, which we introduced actually last year. And now we're making it even better through our enhanced conversions for leads. It provides a privacy safe connection between your leads and your performance via offline conversion import. And you can measure your leads. You can also review the new funnel report coming to Google Ads later this year you'll get reporting that shows how your qualified and converted leads are performing. This improved approach to measurement makes it easier to use automated bidding based on the value of your leads, 
And you can use it to drive more qualified, high-value leads as well. And soon, you'll be able to take the durability of enhanced conversions for website conversions to additional digital channels. So we've opened up a beta of enhanced conversions for web in Search Ads 360 for you to maintain deep insights. Now, we've heard that some of these challenges maybe feel particularly daunting for small or medium-sized businesses. And that's why there's a whole community that's willing to make forward-looking measurement possible. So for example, Zoe Financial is working with HubSpot to make the most of their first-party data. Let's take a look at how they did it. So Zoe Financial is a well-planning platform where consumers could find, hire, and work with their ideal financial advisor. Step one is, can you find the people that are looking for you? But once you do that, then how do you scale it in a cost-effective way? Not every client is looking for the exact same thing, and they're not all at the same stage of life. So we tweak the model to not only conversion, but retention and experience. We now are able to use data from the clients that we have to go find people just like them in a way in which Google and HubSpot could speak the same language and give us kind of real-time signal of what works and what doesn't. We now have a much better feel for how to identify that signal versus noise by partnering in such a close way with Google. In a world where you're trying to identify the right client as you scale, it is critical to have partners like Google and HubSpot that have a two-way communication of that first part data in a safe way. Regardless of the size or complexity of your business, you can respect user privacy while driving business growth. And to make it even easier to deliver industry-leading measurement to your company, HubSpot will soon support enhanced conversion for the web for all of their clients. If you use Telium, Segment, MParticle, or Adobe, to manage your campaigns, enhanced conversions may already be available and work with your provider if you haven't already implemented in your accounts. We as an industry need to believe and know that ads add value to the internet and people's lives. Advertising can grow stronger businesses and advertising needs to preserve safety for users because at the end of the day, this industry depends on user trust. We need to work together with you in order to shape the future of a ad-supported internet. From better measurement to better ads, this is a collaborative process. And none of it would be possible without all of you tuning in today. Now, we'll be sharing details about these new developments in our breakout stages, covering apps, advertiser tools, and plenty more. And they go live in less than an hour. Be sure to tune in. Up next, we have a lot to share about the future of commerce on Google. We're making Google the best place for users to start their shopping journeys. And we're making it easy for merchants to connect with these shoppers every step of the way. I want to hand it over to Bill Reddy to tell you all about it. Bill? Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to be back on campus and in person with all of you. Today, more than 4.9 billion people are online. And the internet has transformed every aspect of our lives. People are shopping on Google more than a billion times per day for everything from flip-flops to the best barbecue grill to squishmallows. At the same time, we've seen brick-and-mortar stores make a comeback. In-store sales rebounded by over 8% in 2021 to $21 trillion globally. And while shoppers returned to stores, they still enjoyed tried-and-true omni-channel shopping experiences, like having their purchases ready in-store nearby with the click of a button. And what's even more intriguing is that when shoppers return to stores, they did so without decreasing their digital usage. For example, two-thirds of US shoppers say they first started their shopping online. They're searching for things like what's nearby. For instance, Google searches for near me in stock have grown in the US by more than 90% year on year. And when shoppers decide to go into the store, their search doesn't stop at the door, it continues. The digital habits from the past two years are continuing. This means your digital presence has never been more critical. Ultimately, what we see happening today is paving the way for omnibuyers and the next wave of omnichannel shopping. I call it intuitive shopping. Here's what I mean by intuitive. 
In so many dimensions of our lives today, shopping is happening seamlessly. While we're scrolling the latest news updates on Google Discover, checking email, or while planning a trip within Maps. People are shopping in spontaneous moments throughout their day, when you least expect it, but actually when you really appreciate it. As a matter of fact, US shoppers are concurrently shopping across seven categories in just a two-day period. We see this on Google. At any given moment, people are in different stages across a variety of journeys, often for product categories that are unrelated, like shirts and mustard. Actually, for me, mustard on my shirt always does seem to go hand in hand. Um, people, are also, <laughs> people are also getting shopping inspiration in more places, like while watching their favorite creator's latest vlog, where they spot new products and brands. Browsing time has completely blended with shopping time. I challenge us all to think beyond the marketing funnel and think of shopping as second nature, organically woven in our lives with digital at the center. What was a foreign concept before has become completely intuitive today. This brings me to why we're excited to talk about the three core themes Jerry shared earlier. Reimagining what's possible, results, and resilience. These three themes are critical to everything we're doing for commerce at Google. Every idea, innovation, and strategy is designed to one, reimagine what's possible to create a more thriving ecosystem for consumers and merchants. Two, drive results for your business today. And three, help you build resilience for tomorrow and beyond. Let's first dive into reimagine what's possible. We've been hard at work reimagining and reinventing the commerce experience on Google. Our mission is clear, to create delightful shopping experiences for people all over the world, while building the world's most innovative products and tools to help you better connect with those people in exciting ways, effortlessly. This starts with giving people more reasons to love shopping on Google and creating more ways for you to reach and engage with them as they shop. Shoppers are seeking new immersive ways to interact with the brands they love, to discover new ones, and to explore new products. This insight led us to begin making it possible to window shop on Google Search last year, a first step towards offering shoppers a more visual and engaging experience. Let's say you search summer dresses. Right now, by the way, searches for summer dresses have grown in the US by over 80% year over year. You'll instantly get a visual feed of information, including product reviews, style guides, and vivid images. You can even filter by style, fit, and brand. This is a game changer in helping shoppers find inspiration across multiple sources at the same time. Helping people find what they're looking for is just a starting point. The next step is ensuring what they find is what they had in mind. Take the example of shopping for new furniture. We believe AR will become the next permanent staple in how shoppers interact with brands and products digitally. And we're bringing this to Google Search. If you have 3D models of the products you sell, Google can now surface them to shoppers looking for similar items right on search. This will help brands increase buying confidence by letting shoppers visualize products in their real environment. That's just a couple of the many ways we're reimagining shopping on Google to drive more demand for your business. As we've been working toward making Google the best place for billions of people to shop, we've also been aggressively investing in building an open ecosystem where all merchants can flourish, from the world's largest retailers to the local shops down the street. And we're proud of the work we've been able to achieve so far with the help of incredible partners like Shopify, BigCommerce, and WooCommerce. Let me introduce you to one of our merchants, Playa Society, who has seen great results using Google and Shopify. Playa Society specializes in apparel that focus on driving conversation around gender equality for women in sports. Starting a business can seem like a huge feat to tackle. We did rely a lot on in-person sales, but at the beginning of 2020, we implemented more of a digital marketing strategy and relied on tools like Google Ads. With the help of Google Tools, website traffic has increased by 50% and sales from Google Ads has increased by 
The Google Channel app on Shopify is really a seamless experience. So having the ability to just push a button and have my ads populate on the shopping listings, it's been a huge help. To any women who want to succeed in entrepreneurship, you have everything in you already to be successful at whatever it is that you want to do. So it's just a matter of getting started and finding your way. What an inspiring story. Um, as we're building and reinventing, we follow two core principles. First, to make it easy for you to show your products across Google and showcase the information most important for your business faster than ever. Second, to ensure you're getting the most value out of everything Google has to offer across every surface, tool, and solution so you can better connect with customers, all while saving you time and effort so you can focus on the things that matter like running your business. At every step of your journey, Google is here to help. Next, to talk about driving more results for your business, I'd like to introduce Tina Wyand. Thanks, Bill. Hello. It's great to be here with you today. And over the last year, I've had the pleasure of meeting several of our fantastic retail partners who are here today. And one of the things I've heard so often, it's difficult to keep up with changing consumer behaviors and demands. This challenge stems from a nonlinear shopping pattern that's become the new norm, meaning that no two shoppers are the same or predictable. And on top of this, each day brings a new set of circumstances to tackle but instead of this being a challenge, I would argue it's an opportunity. For instance, we all know that omni-channel shoppers are incredibly valuable. In fact, last holiday, shoppers who used at least five channels to inform their decisions and complete their holiday shopping reported making twice as many purchases and spending twice as much on average compared to shoppers who only used one or two channels. So to capitalize on this opportunity, it's going to require something new. And Google is ready to help by getting you in front of shoppers in key moments, showcasing what makes your business and products unique, and driving results that matter to you. To help you meet the changing consumer behaviors, we are actively testing new highly visual and immersive ad experiences in search. This is similar to what Bill talked about but we're kicking it up a notch with ads. Let's take a look at how organic results and shopping ads will work together to create a powerful, swipeable visual feed. Say you're an outdoor apparel retailer looking to reduce winter inventory now that spring or summer is here. I'm your ideal customer. I'm already holiday shopping for my family. In fact, I'm on the hunt for a snowboard jacket for my niece Peyton. I really hope she's not watching this. As I scroll through search results, I see a combination of organic results and shopping ads that inspire me with beautiful photography and rich product descriptions. I can swipe on this ad, I can tap on it, and see even more product detail. I can find information such as reviews and other related products. I know I'm going to find the perfect snowboard jacket for Peyton. And this is just one example of how brands like yours will be able to tell a more holistic story through shopping ads. And you'll start to see these ads, um, some of these ads experience roll out in the US just in time for the holiday season. Now let's talk about YouTube. What might be surprising is browsing moments can often turn into high intent moments meaning people are enjoying video content, and during these entertainment moments, it can turn into a purchase decision at any second. In our research with TalkShop, we found that in the US, 75% of you agree that YouTube enhances the traditional shopping journey by delivering unexpected inspiration. Businesses like Levi's have really harnessed the power of product feeds to turn their video action campaigns into did actual digital storefronts. Let's take a look.
Levi's is an iconic brand with a long and colorful history. We invented the blue jean 150 years ago. My name is Eric Smith. I'm director of performance marketing here at Levi Strauss & Company. At Levi's, it's all about staying true to our brand values, empathy, integrity, originality, and courage. How can we produce content and get in front of the right audience in a way that feels tailored to them while also being authentic and true to the brand? And in order to do that, we want to be meeting the customers where they are. And YouTube is one of the places that's very effective at driving results. We've really scaled up our efforts on YouTube, specifically around video action campaigns and product feeds. Video formats just give us so much more freedom and allow us to feature product more dynamically. Product feeds take this one step further by allowing us to feature a product shown in video and drive traffic to Levi.com to allow customers to shop directly. We've seen great results with this ad format with 150% lift in engagement and an eight to one return on ad spend. We really see Google and YouTube as a key partner. They give us confidence in our investments and the results that help drive where we need to go. Levi's is one of the countless retailers we've seen drive phenomenal results on YouTube, and we're excited to announce that product feeds previously only appearing in stream will now appear in more places on YouTube, like YouTube search and on shorts, where it, where it reaches people immersed in captivating short form content. This is huge because shorts has over 30 billion daily video views and product feeds in YouTube search will take your potential reach and even further it as users are five times more likely to watch a product demo on YouTube before purchasing. So that's video. Now what about when shoppers are wandering from channel to channel, device to device, and moment to moment? The challenge we often hear is how do I make my marketing as dynamic as my customers' journeys? As Bill mentioned, consumer expectations around convenience, ease, and intuitive shopping have never been higher. Plus, our dependence on e-commerce and novel omni-channel experiences means that it's not only about the idea of meeting shoppers where they are, the next level is seeing our physical and online stores as one. People want a one-store experience where their needs are met no matter where they are shopping or browsing. For this reason, I'm thrilled to say we are helping make this a reality with one of our latest ads innovations, Performance Max. As Jerry mentioned earlier, Performance Max campaigns are a new way to buy Google ads across search, YouTube, Maps, Discover, Display, and Gmail from a single campaign, all fully powered by automation. What makes Performance Max unique and what's exciting is that it's specifically designed to meet your online and in-store goals all in one, removing silos and bridging our physical and online worlds into one view. And to support this, we're taking measurement to the next level. Today in Performance Max campaigns, you can measure and optimize store visits and local actions like calls and direction clicks. And soon, you will be able to bid and measure towards physical store sales. This makes it possible to measure omni-channel impact across all your e-commerce brick and mortar stores in a way that only Google can deliver. This notion of one store not only supports shopper journeys, but it also aids retailers offering unprecedented visibility and control of their business. It's been energizing to hear how retailers all across the globe have been using Performance Max to reach more customers across all Google channels. For example, Rothy's, a footwear and accessories retailer based in San Francisco, adopted Performance Max to showcase their brand and products with highly visual assets, including product images, um, lifestyle photography, and video. Let's check out how they were able to drive results with Performance Max. Here at Rothy's, we say we look good, feel good, and are good. 
As the market gets more crowded and more and more brands claim sustainability, it just makes us work a little harder. As a brand that really relies on video and lifestyle imagery to showcase the quality and colorful nature of our products, Performance Max has allowed us to take a lot of our different creative assets and through automation show them to a variety of people at scale. And it allows us to reach more customers across many more Google channels like search, display, Gmail, YouTube in a way that we were never able to do before. Since using Performance Max, we've nearly doubled our impressions. They're up 89%. We grew conversions by 60%, and we grew revenue by 59%. Of course, at first, we were hesitant using automation to make such important decisions, but the results spoke for themselves. What's at the heart of Rothy's is the people. It's the customers. We have over 2 million strong, and that community makes an impact. We are excited about this next chapter to be walking alongside them. Wow, it's incredible to see what Rothy's has been able to achieve. And in fact, in seeing this, I really liked their shoes and I um, appreciated their sustainability mission that I had to have my own pair. So, okay, so now to walk you through an exciting new merchant experience and our last theme, resilience, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Matt Madrigal. Thanks, Tina. Before we move on to talking about building resilience for the future, I want to share an innovation I'm excited about. We've all been there. While searching on Google, of course, we find the perfect product, the right color, size, et cetera. Wouldn't it be great if you could go straight to the merchant's checkout page with the chosen product already in your cart? This is something we've been working on for quite a while, and we call it Checkout on Merchant. Let me show you how it works. Like Tina, my family is big into skiing. Say I search for ski goggles for one of my daughters. This pair looks great. From the free listing, I now see an option to tap checkout, and I'm taken directly to the cart on your site. Once there, I see the goggles already in my cart and can select whatever payment method I want. What was once a multi-step buying journey from Google to your site is now transformed into just a few simple clicks. We'll be piloting Checkout on Merchant across Google and YouTube in the US with a few select partners like Shopify and Walmart, and we'll share more in the coming months. As Bill mentioned at the beginning, we're also focused on helping you build resilience for the future. The last couple of years have really shown that real-time actionable insights and progressive measurement are the backbone to success in our dynamically changing world. Which is why we've made it a priority to build tools to help you keep a pulse on trends, identify new opportunities, and get the most out of Google. But we know you need more, including in Google Ads. Retailers have made it clear to us that they would like to be able to optimize not just the performance of their campaigns, but the performance of each and every product they advertise on Google. With this in mind, you can now access the Products tab at the account level in Google Ads to easily spot inactive offers. Later this year, you'll be able to view critical information to improve the quality of your feed more efficiently and adjust your bidding strategy to stay competitive. For example, You'll be able to identify products with missing attributes, see when competitors have stronger offers than you, and get other best practices to drive maximum results. You'll see this in your Google Ads account starting this fall, so you can leverage it throughout the critical holiday season. Lastly, we know that loyalty is part of the secret sauce for driving long-standing growth and profitability. In fact, People in top loyalty programs make two times more purchases and are 77% more likely to choose the loyalty brand over competitors. Loyalty programs are an excellent way to create rich first-party experiences with your customers. And there's a huge opportunity to promote the value of your loyalty program before shoppers even get to your website or to the front door of your store. This is where Google can help make the difference helping you win customers at the moment they're deciding which retailer to buy from. That's why, coming in the next few months, you'll be able to showcase your loyalty benefits on Google. With billions of people shopping on Google every day, 
your loyalty program being front and center is epic. Let's dive into all the cool new loyalty capabilities. Let's say my daughter, a member of Sephora's Beauty Insider program, is shopping for a blow dryer brush on Google. When she clicks on the Sephora listing, she can opt in to see an exclusive loyalty program benefits as she shops, like 15% off her purchase during the spring savings event, free shipping, special deals, and earning points on what she buys. Pretty awesome, right? As the retailer, you can offer this experience to your current loyalty program members on Google through the loyalty integration. Now that's for your existing members. The next thing I'm pretty pumped to share today is that we're also creating ways for you to attract new loyalty members. We know you've been asking about this, and I'm excited to share in the coming months, we'll be opening up the ability for advertisers using Performance Max campaigns to attract new loyalty members in the US with ads. You'll simply upload your customer loyalty lists in a privacy safe way into Customer Match, and Google does the rest through the power of automation. These ads will be shown exclusively to your potential new loyalty members. These are just some of the innovations my team has planned for this year. We're excited to partner with you on this journey. To close out, we're experiencing an incredible moment in history. How brands and shoppers connect digitally and in person is being radically transformed right before us. Intuitive shopping will continue as our everyday norm. As it does, our goal at Google will remain to create the most delightful experiences for shoppers, all while helping businesses thrive and create connections with these shoppers in the moments that matter most. We look forward to working together with you each step of the way. Thanks for joining us.